Kraft Heinz has had a pretty good run for a few weeks, but I think it's looking kind of bearish right now. Stay around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hi, this is Tim from TradingStrategyGuides.com. I'm sorry to hear that quite a few of you are still on lockdown. Trading Strategy Guides is going to be here throughout the ordeal, so be sure to hang around. This is a great time to learn trading. Today's trade pick is a bear flag on the stock Kraft Heinz Company. I'll show that to you in a few minutes. But first, we're going to look at the active trades. Later on, a trading maxim that hits pretty close to home for me. Welcome to Monday. Let's get on with it. Remember to click the subscribe button and hit that bell so you don't miss any of these great trade setups. Let's take a look at our active trades. This is the Palladium setup from a couple of weeks ago. Still waiting for it to hit this first target. The NASDAQ 100 futures triggered on Friday right there on the new setup that I showed you on Friday. So I sold it at 87.18, a stop of 92.22.75, and the first target of 83.81.50. And we wait. Here's the Australian dollar Swiss franc setup I gave you last week, and it's looking like it might trigger today. So keep your eyes on it. But if the Australian dollar Japanese yen triggers on the same day, and it could go today as well, I would only go half size on these two pairs because they are both looking to sell the Australian dollar. That could really be bad if both of them went wacky and hit the stop. That could be a 4% loss just on the Australian dollar. I told you Friday that I would review the US dollar Mexican peso and see if we could make another opportunity on this. The volume and volatility continued to decline right here after last week's trade. So I'm good with redrawing this triangle. This dashed line right here is the old triangle and the new one is out here to include all these candle bodies right here and included these wicks right here. As before, I'll buy a daily candle close above this triangle or sell a daily candle close below this triangle. Trade management will be the same as always. I'll link the prior setup below. McDonald's setup triggered on Tuesday, like I mentioned on Friday's video. Still waiting for it to hit the first target right down here at 178.10. And the Euro New Zealand dollar triggered Friday on our new setup right here. I bought this at 181.16. Stop loss is 177.39. First target is 183.67. Again, we wait. Okay, let's take a look at the Kraft Heinz setup. Here's a daily chart of Kraft Heinz Company, or KHC, and it's showing a pretty nice looking bear flag. A bear flag consists of an incoming downtrend like this one here, and then an ascending parallel price channel like this. A bear flag is a bear bearish consolidation, so I will only take a sell trigger on this. And the pattern is confirmed by a decline in volume and volatility down here. I measure the volatility using the average true range, or ATR, which shows the average length of the last 14 candles. And here's the trade plan. We're going to sell a daily candle close below the bear flag. On the breaking candle, we want to see this volume bar reach up to the volume average right here. If it doesn't reach the average, but does at least reach 75% of the average volume, I'll open a half size position to reduce risk. You can calculate the percentage by dividing this volume number by this volume average and you should get 0.75. If you don't get 0.75, I would stand aside on the trade. The stop loss will be one and a half times the ATR and the first target will be one times the ATR. So let's say that this breaks down here and we get a close right here. Just ahead of the close, I will sell at this point. On that day, I will take a look at the ATR, I'll multiply that by one and a half, and I will measure the distance above the entry, and that'll be my stop loss, and then I'll measure one ATR below the entry, and that'll be my first target. If after entering the trade, we get a candle close back inside the bear flag, I'll take the loss right then and not wait for it to hit the stop loss. Our intention is that a breakout below the bear flag should be explosive and hit our target fairly quickly. If the momentum goes away, we want to shut the trade down without taking a full stop 
stop if possible. When the price hits our first target, we will close half the position for profit and set the stop loss to break even on the remainder. We'll then follow stops as price moves in our direction until the market takes us out. These two rules are the very definition of cutting your losses and letting your winners run. Typically, I do this using two positions. The first position has a stop loss and a take profit. That position will close automatically when the first target is hit. The second position will only have a stop loss, and that's the position that will be allowed to run. When the first target is hit, we will have to manually move our stop loss up to break even on the second position. I will only risk about 2% of my account on each trade. And that's today's setup on Kraft Heinz Company. Remember, my intent here is to tell you how I manage these trades. If you've already got a good trade management plan, use it. Things that work for me may not work for you. You have to understand your own mind to find the best strategies for your trading. And speaking of understanding your own mind, that's my intent for the trading maxims. The maxims help me control my emotional impulses and keep me on the straight and narrow path. A maxim is a general truth, fundamental principle, rule of conduct, or proverbial saying. The purpose of my maxims is to motivate me to discipline in trading as well as other areas of my life. I suggest you start your own list of maxims, things that you can say to yourself while you're trading or doing life to make sure you always do the right thing. Feel free to borrow from my list. And today, let's go back in time for a maxim that strikes close to my heart. Tim's trading maxim number 16. Just because it's a winning trade doesn't make it a good trade. Just because it's a losing trade doesn't make it a bad trade. Good trades follow your plan. Bad trades do not. I've told this funny story before, but I'm going to tell it again because I think it's important. I was learning to trade and I had a great strategy for trading index futures contracts. So I practiced and practiced doing paper trades. I was winning and winning one right after another. So I decided it was time to try real money. I did a real money trade and lost. So I thought I did something wrong. So I went back to paper and did a half a dozen or so more successful trades. And then I tried real money again and I lost. I actually did several iterations just like that, and I finally gave up because I burned up my trading account taking all the losers. I thought I was doing something wrong, and of course I was. I was going back to paper instead of continuing to trade real money. Truth is, if I didn't understand the concept of this maxim, I shouldn't have been trading real money yet anyway. But the point of the matter is, losing is part of your job. It's gonna happen, so don't think you're doing something wrong. If you followed your trading rules, you do have rules, right? If you followed your plan, then it was a good trade, winner or loser. Remember our Kraft Heinz Company trade plan here? We're going to sell a daily candle close below the bear flag. If the volume is not quite average, go half size as long as it's at least 75% of the average. Your stop loss is one and a half times the daily ATR, and your first target is one times the daily ATR. And remember to click the link below to the trade management video for more details. And don't forget to sign up for my free trading picks email list to be sure that you don't miss any of these great trading picks. I send out about two or three trading picks a week from all different markets and you'll get to see them first. And the best thing is, it's free. I'll put the link below this video. Be sure to come back to Trading Strategy Guide's YouTube channel every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time for my new videos. Don't hesitate to ask any questions you may have. I'll either answer your question right in the comments or in a training video or by both. And remember, the only stupid question is the unasked one. Be sure you don't miss the next installment of the Trading Education Series when I discuss how the market works this Wednesday. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up below. Happy Monday! Let's get it!